All right. Hi. So you've all come to know us as a couple who can face great challenges with humor and levity and uh, support and companionship and all the good stuff. We face challenges like we've got practice, we've gotten really good at it. But <laughs> there's always a big that, but we, what you guys don't see is that in our day-to-day -day lives, when things are going smoothly, we still have triggers. We still have triggers that our egos pounce on, and we've been going through some of that. That's why we've been offline for a couple MIA of days. MIA for a little while. <laughs> we've been missing in action for a couple of days because yeah. we've been going through some tough times between us. Um, mm. In our in our relationship, yeah, there's. I mean, we've got so much good. We know it, but these triggers that we have for each other, they are just very powerful. And now it feels like they're, you know, they're really bubbling up. Maybe it's the Sedona effect, you know, the amplification by the vortexes. Uh, but we really feel they're holding us back. And in order for us to achieve and move forward towards the the destiny that we see for ourselves we realized this morning there is no there's no more you know zigzagging around it we have to address that and uh, what we came up with was that we're gonna go we're gonna be reading each together a return to love i know it's upside down here but a return to love by marianne williamson and it's an amazing book for relationships. We've both read it before, but I think it's time we read it again. Mm -hmm. With a, a fresh copy with no marks in it. Well, mine has a full of marks, yeah. but uh, I'm using a new new color to right. underline what's, come, okay. what's okay. popping up this time. And uh, we're going to use this and we're going to take you along because I think this is kind of what we do. And it's a little scary because we love the projection of the image that we're like mm, practically, so practically built, enlightened. So practically enlightened. <laughs> but there's still the practically is that parts of it still need more light. Well, of course, we're still, and, we're here, we're still humans. So we're not perfectly enlightened. No. We have lessons to learn. The yeah. fact that we're still here means we have lessons to learn. Yeah. And we know a big part of those lessons are in relationships anyone who's involved in i should say everyone who's involved in personal development and spiritual development knows that the personal relationships are the the hardest lessons to to master yeah they're the most intense laboratory mm -hmm. of personal growth right the more intimate your relationship the deeper it can go to the deepest wounds that need healing and uh, that's the journey that we decided to share like mm -hmm. i said we love the idea of presenting all of this we're so in love. we're so good we're traveling through life and everything but this is the tough part and we decided hey if um it can probably help some people if we're just as truthful and authentic as we are with our other challenges. And so that's what we decided to do. So as we read this, we're going to be, we're going to try to come to you. We want to read a little bit every day and see what it triggers in each other <laughs> and address that in a loving way because it's all about love. And we're going to share with you sometimes passages, sometimes impressions, sometimes what it did to us, for us, and where it's leading us. And if anybody feels like starting to read along with us and share your thoughts and what it's doing for you in your life, uh, that would be fantastic. So you're all invited to read along. So it's A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson. And... Um... Do you want to share something of this morning, what you... Yeah, it's just, you know, of course, it's, it's the introduction, so we're not in the thick of things. But just this. When we were born, we were programmed perfectly. We had a natural tendency to focus on love. Our imaginations were creative and flourishing, and we knew how to use them. 
We were connected to a world much richer than the one we connect to now, a world full of enchantment and a sense of the miraculous. So what happened? We were thought to focus elsewhere. We were thought, she, named, she lists a few other things, but we were thought that we're not quite good enough the way we are. And that, I think, is the basic fuel for our ego to do all its shenanigans in our brains because somehow we have forgotten that we are enough and that we are love as who we are and this is where we want to return okay that sounds good what did you have so there's two there's just two short uh, sentences that are still in the in the preface they aren't even in the introduction yet <laughs> i said there's only one truth spoken in different ways in the course. She talks about the, the, all of this, everything Marianne Williamson does and speaks and teaches is based on A Course in Miracles, which I have not read, but, I'm, but I am familiar with. And the course is one path to that truth out of many. So the course doesn't promote itself as the only path hmm. to the truth. And you know, we, when we talk about love, we don't always talk about love, intimate love between two people. We talk about love as the, the, the guiding principle of the universe. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, we believe that everyone is on the path back to that, the source of everything, which is love and light. And um, one sentence that jumped out for me this morning was at the end of the preface, it says, as we begin to understand more deeply why love is such a necessary element in the healing of the world, a shift will occur in how we live our lives within and without. And when I read that, what jumped out was I read a little bit of news this morning and there's a headline about Black Lives Matter protesters. I think it's somewhere in the Northwest like northern Nevada or something like that, it doesn't matter, small town. And there were counter protesters there. And the story was an interview between one of the counter protesters and one of the protesters that they actually came together and sat and had a discussion. And they sat for an hour and talked about their differences, their different perspectives. And they came to realize that they have more in common than they have different. Um, and they both came away from that saying the same thing. Well, we didn't realize, we didn't realize. And they realize now that social media is stoking the flames of division. But then when people actually sit together, they have more in common than they have separating them. And that's love. And that's, that's love. We're all, it's all, we all want the same things. We have more in common than what separates us. So that jumped off the page. And I'll finish, I just see another one. I underline, love is what we were born with. Fear is what we have learned here. The spiritual journey is the relinquishment or unlearning of fear and the acceptance of love back into our hearts. It's all about love. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I'm not sure how to finish now. I so. think that's it. We're on the journey yeah. to bringing love in all the darkest little corners that are begging to be brought to light so that we are um, more at peace, more loving, more supporting, and more apt to embark on to you to our greatest destiny to, to what's next to what's next in love in love okay okay see you soon get the book or read it with us if you have it already bye love you guys see ya